So today I'm going to test out this Groover. Um, it's a it's six millimeter width of cut. Uh, I think it goes to 20 millimeter depth. I'm going to plunge into the side, come along, come back out the other side. I'll go the other way actually. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do two passes to make up a seven millimeter groove with a six millimeter groover, so I can let a piece of ply in it and just do like a simple butt joint. Just to see how it works out, I'm going to do the, the other groove with uh, an upcut spiral. So I'm going to do this cut with the dust shield off, just so you can see what's going on. I think I'm probably going to go about 10 metres a minute. Okay, here's the next part. Uh, I need to cut a slot in the face of this piece of MDF to accept my piece of plywood um, in order to create my butt joint. Um, just uh, on a side note, uh, when you use a new cutter like this, you should um, just do a single pass slot with it and measure the width of the slot because you can't rely necessarily on a six millimeter cutter creating a six millimeter slot um, and in fact it may vary, the same cutter may vary through two different materials, say for example you used a piece of MDF and you used a piece of ply, uh, they may cut a slightly different width slot. So as a matter of course I always check to see what cutter, what width the cutter will produce. Um, I actually know with this cutter that it does actually cut at 6mm. Um, the other thing that you also need to check if you're doing a fit like this is you need to measure the thickness of your piece of plywood. Uh, this piece of ply is obviously is, is, is ordered as 6mm. It isn't 6mm, it's actually 6.7, uh, which is why I'm, I did a 7mm groove in the last part and I'm going to do a 7mm slot in this part. That gives me 0.3mm uh, for the glue to squeeze out of. Uh, I find that's a good, good amount of, of glue space. Okay, so it's going to cut a pocket, which is why it's going up and down, and I'm going to two pass it. Probably could have actually got away with one pass, but I decided when I was sat in my office that I'd two pass it. Okay, so this is the piece of ply that I'm going to cut to go in the groove to make up my spline. I measured it, I went for a 0.3 millimetres of clearance to allow for glue and I normally what I would do is I would uh, I would measure the width of the cut that the cutter creates and work off that but this time I, I just used the six mil that the cutter is supposed to be um, so we'll find out if my point three has worked out right here actually that's a nice fit for uh, for a glue line so in MDF the cutter does cut to the uh, to the specifications I've measured the cutter with a micrometer and the cutter is exactly to size but of course with a cutter of that diameter it doesn't necessarily well with any cutter really it depending on the material it doesn't necessarily cut within a tenth of a millimeter um, for the dimensions that the cutter is because it's the dimensions of the cutter not necessarily the dimensions of the groove it creates Right, so just checking fit again. I mean, like I say, I've worked off all the all the standard dimensions. This is the bit of ply that's going in, and actually, that's a really nice fit. For you can see, that's a nice fit. It leaves a bit of room for glue. Um, there's the other bit. This is the slot I cut earlier. Moment of truth. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, that would be a nicely glued joint, that. Thanks. Thanks for watching.